Detective John Hargrove was well past his prime. His one sharp mind had dulled with age, and the daily grind of the job had taken its toll on his body. He had been given the case of a missing child in a mosque, a case that he knew he wasn't up to, but was given to him as a last chance to prove himself. As he began his investigation, he quickly realized that this was no ordinary case of a missing child. The trail led him to a powerful businessman, Marcus Goldman, who had been receiving threatening letters demanding a large sum of money or the child would be harmed. It was clear to John that Marcus was being blackmailed. As John dug deeper, he discovered that Marcus had a dark past, including dealings with a local Satanist group, led by a man named Simon. Simon had an eye for opportunity and was not above using blackmail to get what he wanted. John knew that Simon was the key to finding the missing child, but it wouldn't be easy getting information out of him. He paid a visit to Simon, but was met with resistance. Simon was a shrewd individual who was not going to give up any information easily. John had to play a game of cat and mouse to try and get what he needed. But Simon was always one step ahead, and it seemed like John was getting nowhere. Just when it seemed like the case was at a dead end, John received a call that changed everything. A body had been found that matched the description of Simon. It appeared that Simon had faked his own death to avoid prosecution. But as John began to piece together the events that led to Simon's supposed death, he realized that there had been a mistake made. A crucial piece of evidence had been overlooked, and that evidence led him to the missing child. It turned out that Simon had not been the mastermind behind the blackmail, but rather it was Marcus's own son, who was in dire need of money and saw his father as an easy target. The child was found safe and sound, and the real culprit was brought to justice. John had solved the case and proved to himself that he still had what it takes to be a great detective, but it had come at a great cost. The weight of the case had taken its toll on him, but he knew he could finally retire with a sense of accomplishment and closure.